guys welcome to Shalu's Artistry. In today's video we will be seeing the summer harvest 2021 and the hardships that we faced. We have extended our garden by adding two more cement sheets and some more planters. Most of the plants are tomatoes and eggplants this time along with few radish, cauliflower and spinach. We have placed water bottles in all the planters. We have removed its cap and fixed it into the soil. It contains everyday kitchen waste and it serves as a source of nutrition to all the plants. Our harvest started from the first week of March. Tomatoes were our first harvest. This particular plant grew very huge and it gave us plenty of tomatoes throughout the season. So curry leaves are fresh this time and pomegranate has started to fruit. We also tried another variety of eggplant this time. I also tried experimenting with Ashirwad Atta pack as a grow bag and yeah it worked out radish grew well in that packet. As usual the tomatoes also were ready to be plucked. In the next week also we got some tomatoes. From the second week of April, we started getting brinjal. After every harvest, we replace new plants in the planters and regularly fertilize the plants. But due to COVID pandemic, we couldn't fertilize it or spray pesticide for almost a month and I could hardly spend time for watering the plants. It was a tough time actually. And meanwhile, mealybugs started attacking our plants and with poor maintenance, it started spreading as well. We got a good number of brinjals and tomatoes this time and we kept only one cauliflower and it really grew well. After 10 days we got some more tomatoes and brinjal. Irrespective of the pest attack, our eggplants were always ready for the harvest and there was no compromise with the yield also. In the next week we got some spinach. This is an old fridge that serves as a huge planter in our garden. There are citrus, bitter gourd, pumpkin and chili plants in this planter. This is country bitter gourd. It's very small and very bitter. As the pumpkin creeper started growing, it almost covered all the plants beneath it and it has started to flower too. Chili plants started to flower and it gave us a good quality chilies. From the second week of May, tomato yield has gone down but brinjal yield was as usual good. We also got some red amaranth this time. If we cut it from the stem portion, it will grow back again. So I cut it from the stem instead of plucking it from the roots. I also plan to extend centella plants in our terrace garden. So I removed few pieces of centella with roots, entered it in a wider and a spacious container. Within two weeks, it will spread throughout the planter. 
By 3 weeks it will grow healthier and by 4 weeks this is how it will look. It's an evergreen creeper that keeps growing. Watermelons grow by itself and it's very important to water it regularly. For now, there is only one fruit that is growing healthier. From the last week of May, all the yield has started to decline. Now let's see what are the difficulties we face during the summer. Due to extreme heat, some plants died as saplings itself. Lot of weeds started developing in our vegetable pots. And even after growing bigger and giving plenty of vegetables, some portion of the plants were still drying out. This happens because due to extreme heat, even the roots get heated up. To avoid this, a layer of leaves should be added around the roots to cover it and to protect it from heat. These leaves are decomposed and it serves as a source of nutrition to the plants. The leaves in these planters are partially decomposed. Add a layer of leaves regularly till summer ends. And also regularly water it twice a day. Apart from extreme heat, we also had problems with pest attack. Mini bugs started attacking our plants and it started spreading out widely. We used a detergent and water solution regularly as a pesticide. It worked out where the infection was very less. We cut and removed the highly infected areas. This kind of trimming boosted new twigs to grow and eventually we got a good yield from these plants. But despite this, we couldn't save some plants. In spite of the heat, pest attack and low maintenance, our plants survived because of the fertile soil we used. We have grown banana plant this time and I will be uploading a detailed video on banana plant care once it's fully grown. If you like this idea, give a thumbs up to my video and share it with your friends. If you haven't subscribed my channel, please do subscribe my channel for more such videos.